Uh, welcome to my Cyber Patriot image vlog for my Windows server. So the first thing we're going to do is go through the README. So let's open that. As soon as it loads. Okay, and now let's check out the scenario. So the company we were, we're securing this for wants all the accounts to be password protected. We need to have secure passwords for all the accounts. Uh, might not be like that already, so that's probably one of the things we need to do. Uh, we can't have any non-work related media files and no hacking tools. Um, don't need to worry about any centralized maintenance or polling tools. And make sure only authorized users are using this computer. Um, Windows Action Center should be enabled and monitoring at all times. And we can't uninstall the Windows feature updates or the insider preview builds. OK, so let's get into this and start doing some stuff. So one of the first things, one of the, yeah, the first things we did was um, the So one of the first things we're going to do to secure it is we're going to go to the user accounts. So let's do Windows R and then the LUS RMGR dot MSC. And this opens up our users in our groups. So we can go into here and make sure all the users are right people. And we can delete them if we needed to, or rename them, or set a password. And if we went into the groups, we could see what users are administrators, and we could remove them if they shouldn't be, or add other users to admin administrator privileges if they needed to be. Uh, one more thing would be the password policies. So Windows are and secpol.msc and now if we go into the security settings wait if we go into the yeah security settings where's the security settings oh hmm. okay my bad it says Okay, no, cut this out. Now, if we go into the account policies and password policy, and we can change all this to minimum password length, 10 characters, must have complexity in the password, and the password age, a maximum of 90 days, so they have to re set it change their password every 90 days and that's an important thing for security so another thing would be the FTP service being disabled and stopped so we do Windows R circle no wait no services dot MSC and then in here we can find the Microsoft F TP service. There it is. And then we could disable it and stop it so it stops working because you don't want this on. And then disable it so it doesn't automatically come back on when you restart it later. And then another thing. Another thing would be we can check for the hacking tools that it said in the readme. So we'd go to control panel and programs and features. And then in, if there's any hacking tools, they'd be here. So I already removed them, but we would have removed BitTorrent, Wireshark, and 
add aware web companion and that's about it for the windows server what we did on it uh, so actually let's show my scoring report so if we go through the scoring report here we can see we removed the unauthorized users may remove someone from administrator privileges gave someone a password made sure the secure minimum pass maximum password age exists the secure lockout threshold exists and limited use of blank passwords to console only uh, turned off the file share for something that shouldn't have been sharing uh, we stopped the FTP service and disabled it we updated Firefox uh, had it automatically install updates and then removed the hacking tools and non work related media there and that's it for Windows Server